What's up guys, Sagi here and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. Today I'm going to show you how to get better audio with the Fuji X-T3. Now I've done a detailed review of the X-T3 and I'll add a link to it in the description in case you want to get more information about this camera. But today we're going to take a look at how to get better audio for your X-T3 video. The Fuji X-T3 is a great camera and it may be the best value in the market right now when it comes to a single camera that shoots amazing stills and great video. Like pretty much every camera, the X-T3 comes with a built-in stereo microphone. And if you're watching this video, you probably know that if you have a choice, you should never use your camera's built-in microphone for anything other than scratch audio. When I buy a camera, I'm paying for great image quality, better resolution, different frame rates, better low light performance and dynamic range, and I don't expect the manufacturer to really focus on high-end audio components. Now there are several problems with the built-in microphone on the X-T3, and for that matter, built-in microphones in general. The first is that they're omnidirectional, so they won't isolate the sound that you're trying to pick up. The second issue is that they pick up a lot of handling and mechanical noises from the camera itself. A third issue is that the microphone is part of the camera and because of that, it has to be as far away from the subject as the camera is. And then the fourth issue we already discussed, the camera's focus is to capture video and there's limited space and budget allocated to audio. Okay, so now that we identify the issues, let's get to some solutions and I'll show you options at different price points. Okay, so when we look at the issues, we know that we want to isolate the sound we're trying to pick up, we want to get rid of handling noise, we want to have the flexibility to move the microphone closer to the subject, and we want to use higher end audio components. There are a ton of options out there, and of course, I can't show you all of them, but I'm going to give you a few examples to show you that essentially any external microphone will do better than the built-in microphone. With all the audio tests, I'm not going to do any editing because I want you to hear the difference in a clean audio source. Let's start out by just listening to the built-in microphone. All right, so here's an example of what the Fuji X-T3's built-in microphones would pick up. I just wanted to give you a baseline so that as we start testing the other microphones, you know what to use as a comparison. All right, first let's look at the Rode Video Micro. This is a compact and lightweight microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern, meaning that it's designed to pick up sounds from the front and reject sounds coming from the sides and the back. It sells for only $59 and it mounts right onto the X-T3's hot shoe and plugs into the 3.5 millimeter external mic input. The microphone is also isolated from the camera with a Rycote shock mount. So the sounds from you touching the camera aren't transferred to the microphone. I'm also able to use an extension cable and get the microphone off the camera and closer to the subject if needed. I also want to mention that one of my favorite features on the X-T3 for video is that Fuji included a headphone jack. And that lets me monitor my audio in real time and identify any potential issues. So let's have a listen. All right, now we're going to do a test using the Rode Video Micro, which is a compact shotgun mic. It's mounted right on top of the Fuji X-T3, and hopefully you can hear that it's significantly better than the built-in microphone on the X-T3. Rode also offers some higher-end microphones like the Video Mic Pro Plus, which offers a plus 20 dB option that lets you turn down the gain on the camera and lets the microphone amplify the signal. This gets you a lot better signal to noise ratio and better overall quality because you're asking a professional microphone to amplify the sound rather than your camera. If you'd like to hear a comparison of the entire Rode directional microphone line, I'll add a link in the description to another video that I did. Next, let's listen to the Sennheiser ME66, which is a larger shotgun microphone with a super cardioid pickup pattern. Now this pattern is even more directional and even more focused on sounds coming from the front of the microphone. The kit which includes the ME66 and the K6 power module costs 460 bucks and this microphone does require a AA battery in this case since the X-T3 does not provide phantom power. The ME66 is an XLR microphone so I will use my XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter in order to connect it to the X-T3. So let's have a listen. 
For this clip, I'm using the Sennheiser ME66 and K6P combo, and I wanted to give you an idea of what the shotgun microphone that I use for most of my videos sounds like. So I've got it set up up here on a boom pole, of course, I would never have it this close because it's in the frame, but I wanted you to be able to see this setup while you're listening to it. So hopefully this sounds pretty good. All right, so the first two options allowed me to isolate the microphone from the camera and move it closer to the subject, but they still require that I either attach the microphone directly to the X-T3 or use an external recorder. Now, if I want a wireless solution, I can use something like the Sennheiser AVX. The setup I'm gonna be using includes the MKE2 lavalier microphone and costs $899. You can also get this setup with the ME2 lavalier microphone that sells for $699. Now, they are pricey, but the quality is absolutely fantastic. And there's also a $100 gift card special going on right now, so I'll put links in the description in case you're interested. All right, so I can place the lav microphone and transmitter on my subject and then use the XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter that came with the AVX to connect the receiver to the X-T3. Now I'm all set. My subject can move around and sound great regardless of how far away they are from the camera. All right, and for this test, we're gonna use the Sennheiser AVX. So I've got the MKE2 mic, uh, lavalier mic mounted to me. I've got the transmitter in my pocket and the receiver is mounted right on top of the X-T3. So hopefully you can hear much better audio. Again, I can move around. It doesn't matter because the microphone stays right where it is. Um, and so hopefully the audio is very consistent and clear. All right, so I hope this video was helpful and gave you some examples of how to get better audio with the Fuji X-T3. We looked at a few microphone options that let you isolate your subject from the environment, eliminate handling noise from the camera, bring the microphone closer to the subject and use higher end audio components. If you're ready for even the next step and to take advantage of much better preamps and a lot more control, you can use an external recorder. A few of my favorites are the Tascam DR70D and the Sound Devices Premix 3. I'll add a couple of links in the description to where you can check those out and get some more info. I hope I was able to give you some useful advice about how to get better audio with the Fuji X-T3. If this video was helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk, and you know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.